The International Organization for Migration and the Stockholm Environment Institute conducted a study on the linkage between climate change, environmental degradation, and international labor migration, looking into migration from Cambodia and Myanmar into Thailand's sugar crane sector, and Bangladesh and Indonesia into Malaysia's palm oil sector. Here are four key findings from the study. One. Climate change and environmental degradation are increasingly important drivers of international labor migration, particularly for those whose livelihoods are reliant on natural resources. Climate change and environmental degradation increasingly add to people's socio-economic struggles, with crop yields declining, disasters destroying homes and farmlands, and infrastructure projects limiting people's access. To key natural resources. Two, legal migration pathways are difficult and costly to access. Countries' policies are crucial to ensure people do not migrate in distress, and to enable those who migrate to do so safely, orderly, and regularly, and find decent work abroad. Three, working and living conditions, as well as the impacts of climate change at destination. Shape the viability of migration as an adaptation strategy. Migrant workers were exposed to health hazards associated with extreme heat or unable to work due to floods. Four, international labor migration may support adaptation to climate change if it enhances the well-being of migrants and their communities of origin. Migrants and their communities of origin benefited from migration through remittances. However. The social costs of migration, such as exploitation and isolation, must be addressed if migration is to unleash the full potential as adaptation strategy.